students video tutorial number 11 using the poly object <clears throat> our last tutorial concluded with us getting our cycler patch working and with our nice gate that allowed us to use the piano or the patcher but we did discover that the patcher uh, the the cycler has a limited number of voices, limited to the number one exactly. So if you hold a key down and then try to hit another key, it either steals, it takes the note, but you won't hear two at the same time. And they do kind of interfere with each other. Um, so we're going to solve that um, today using the poly object. Before we do, one thing I, that I'd like to do is, um, since we're going to duplicate the cycler here, is to open it, double click, and what we're going to do is unlock the cycler itself, and we're going to put an outlet, oh, let's open our sidebar here, and we're going to put an outlet down here for the sound. And then we're going to get rid of that. And then we are also going to come up here and type the letter N. Um, and we are going to make an unpack object with a 0 space 0 as arguments. And the reason that I'm doing this is you remember when we were working on the gates and how it's always a nice idea to eliminate clutter. Well, this is a good way to eliminate clutter here when we make multiple versions of the same thing, and that is to have fewer inlets that we have to tie together, and uh, then we end up with fewer patch cords running all over the place. And let's put that over there. So when we send um, when we send the information into here, we won't need to uh, send them in different inlets. We will be sending in the pitch and the velocity in one inlet. And um, just for fun, we'll leave the second inlet there for future use. Not for confusion, just for future use. And then we'll close our patcher. Now, you can see our patcher has a nice um, outlet here that is going to go to an easy DAC. And the nice thing about oops, unlocking our patcher first and then putting the easy DAC down there is that that'll also give us the ability to turn it off and on. So there's one, there's one, there's one. Okay, very good. So uh, just going to lock it and make sure it works. Of course it doesn't work. That's because out here, when we unlock the patcher, we're going to make a new object, type N, and we're going to say pack. Uh, zero, zero. And that's the way we're going to do it to make sure that it works. So let's shift these over here. This patch cord goes here. And this patch cord goes here. And whoops. And this goes in outlet one. And we move this over here. And everything looks great. And now we check it. We lock the patcher. And it doesn't work. But, oh, that's because we didn't turn the sound on. Oh, look at that. See? Even if we seem not so bright sometimes, in the end, we prove ourselves to be bright. Very good. Okay, well now we have our cycler patcher set up the way we want it and now we can start to incorporate the poly object. So make sure your patcher is unlocked and type the letter N and type poly. P-O-L-Y. You'll notice there's a poly with no tilde and a poly with a tilde we're going to take the poly with no tilde 
type of space. And then, let's see, we'll take uh, six voices. As you can see in the arguments, the first thing is number of voices. Let's have six. I know you have lots of fingers, but let's try to keep this uh, at least relatively simple. And then uh, the next, um, it says steel mode. We're not too worried about that, but uh, sure. Um, what steel mode does, you put a, a 1 in here, if uh, or maybe a 1.0, I can't remember. Um, if you run out, if the if you try to play seven notes, it turns off note number one and steals it for note number seven. So there we go. There's our poly object. And if you kind of wave your cursor over these, this is the pitch and velocity coming in. And they can come in either one outlet or two. This can be just pitch or pitch and velocity. And this can be velocity. And then on the output side, it's going to assign each one a voice number, a pitch, and a velocity. Nice. So it looks like our poly object might fit very well over, I'm going to have to move this down though, this little bend, might fit very well over, over this object. So in comes our velocity, and in comes our pitch. And now we just have to figure out how we're going to distribute all this wonderful noise to our uh, different cyclers that we'll have momentarily. And so what we have to do is, first of all, pack together these three um, these three outlets. So we're going to make a new object, pack, zero, space, zero, space, zero. Connect those together. And now we're going to make another object that's going to spray them all out to each cycler that we need. And that object is called spray. And here you see that the number of outlets you need is the first argument. And we need six because we have, uh, we told Polly we want six voices. So we want to be able to spray to six voices. And then we want to know what the offset is. Normally, the first outlet on spray is zero, but we want it to be one because um, we want note one to end up being one, not zero. So we're going to say offset by one. And now I have discovered that there is a um, mistake in cycling 74's help file here, and that is that they're not including the list function which if you type a one here, this is why you have a professor, I suppose, occasionally. Um, this will allow the numbers to go through as a list. If you don't type this one, it will not work. But I can't find it in the help file anywhere. It was this way in max five and is no longer in max six. So that's our spray function. Click out here and we get six outputs. And that's just what we want. Okay. And they will be now. The interesting thing is that since spray is going to be delivering a list of two numbers out here, even though it says it's only going to be delivering one, um, we know that they're going to be coming out and needing to be unpacked, which we built into our cycler pack. Uh, here, I'll just show you. They're already packed. And we have an unpack. We have an unpack object right here inside of our cycler. So we do not need um, this pack anymore. We can just connect it and make sure that it works. And so let's see.
lock our patcher and nice so this is pretty funny because the what Polly is doing right now is cycling around so I'm gonna go hit 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 one two three four five hit two three four five one two three four five you get the idea it's going outlet 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 okay well that's good to know so here's what we'll do we'll put whoops unlock your patcher we'll put this cycle object here and we will copy it and put another one here and 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 then connect them. Okay, so, and then um, they all need to go to the speakers as well, so um, you can do it this way by just clicking on the left side of the speaker drag this up to each one of the patchers and hold the shift key and then you can just string them out like that and then I got an extra one of course um, so we'll just get rid of it and then do the same thing for the right just shift and click 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 let go of the shift there it is. Okay, not the neatest thing in the world, but still effective. And now let's see what happens when we play after locking our patcher down. Nice, my goodness. interference uh, harmonically in between them and that's probably because they're perfect um, they're perfect sine waves so they really interrupt each other nicely but as you can see it does work now um, in the future uh, video I'm going to show you how to save each one of these as its own patcher so that if you decided oh you know I want to change something inside this patcher and let's say you decided just for the sake of argument that you wanted to be able to um, connect a phaser here well so you do right and then this is the only one I'm gonna click it open again this is the only one that's this way but this one isn't so in a future video I'm just gonna show you very simply how to make all these so that they're actually just patchers and then um, when you change one you change all of them but for today that's enough now you've got some electronic synthesis music in the polyphonic realm Wow all right everybody patch well and I'll see you in video tutorial Number 12.